Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you my Urban Decay most recent purchase. The new Gwen Stefani palette looks like this. It is just this really pretty like white and gold box. It does show you like all the colors on the back. And this is going to be um, a limited edition thing. I don't know like how long limited edition, but it's really cute on the inside. It's like a, um, it's like a pinky red or is that a red? I can't really tell on the inside. Anyways, you also get um, a few sneak peeks of her new Gwen Stefani lipsticks, which I'm really excited about as well. Some of these look really, really pretty, but I think that they're going to be wonderful, but no release on when these are coming out just yet. This is available today at Sephora for the VIB and VIB Rouge only. I believe on December 20, is it the 29th or the 1st? I forget exactly when, but I know coming up in the next week, um, it's going to be available everywhere to everybody. It was only available on its release date in store at the Newport Beach flagship store, which is where I got mine, and also on UrbanDecay.com. Um, you could get it as well. The case is plastic, but it's kind of nice. It has like this like plastic clear thing over some nice like plastic preformed dots with a black background, and this looks like it would be metal, and it's it's like a it's like a plastic but it's like a brushed plastic to make it look like it's metal this little um, indicator for Urban Decay Gwen Stefani the back looks like this as you can see it gets lots of fingerprints there are 15 eyeshadows in this palette each one of them are 1.4 grams or 0.04 ounces and it does have a really cute big mirror cute really it has a nice size mirror and then on the mirror it's kind of nice it says magics in the makeup and it, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it without me blinding you but it's right here it's just like a cute little saying um and then you have all of your shades so when I first looked at this palette I was like wow it's kind of like I would have bought it anyways because it's Gwen Stefani and I have loved Gwen Stefani to like the no doubt days and like back in the day I think like one Christmas I remember asking for a no doubt CD and um, just all kinds of fun stuff and my husband has he has a thing where he's he had a girlfriend once who was friends with a friend that knew Gwen Stefani and he saw her once when she wasn't yet Gwen Stefani so I don't know. We'll, we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll just talk. Yes. Yes. But anyways, he's always been in love with her too. So we're definitely Gwen Stefani fans in this family. So I probably would have got it anyways, but there's definitely an interesting mix of colors here. It's kind of like a very neutral palette with a couple pops of color, but it also, it, it just seems like there's not much of a difference between some of these neutrals, but when you get it up closer, you can tell that there is definitely a difference in some of the shades and the sheen's like textures. So there is uh, one, two, three, four, five mattes in here. This is a matte. This blackout is their um, staple color that's in several of their palettes. The punk, blackout, zone. Stark and Anaheim are mattes and then there are a few that are more glittery like pop is kind of that like chunkier glitter um, and then there's just a few satins like blonde is kind of just a very satin and then more of a little bit more of a metallic like bathwater baby steady 1987 danger and Harajuku I don't know if I'm saying that right if I'm not I'm sorry um, so anyways, we will go through and swatch this and I'm really excited about this palette. I think it's just gonna I think it's just gonna be one that people want to have to collect. It's Gwen Stefani. She's been around forever. I'm just I'm excited about it. So let's go ahead and swatch the first three. I'm gonna swatch in rows of three because it's easy to do on the fingers. So here are your first three. This is Pop, Baby, and Blonde. And there they are swatched on my hand. Really, really pretty and pigmented. This baby, um, it's kind of like a baby pink. It's really pretty. Here are the next three. This is Harajuku, Anaheim, and Bathwater. 
And there they are swatched. Anaheim is a very nice, light, cool, but a little bit more of a gray-toned brown where it just is going to be a really good transition if you want or just really anything. It's just really pretty. It's very soft. Okay, these next three, this is Danger, Stark, and Skimp. And Skimp is gonna is such a pretty, pretty color. It's just like has just the ever so slight sheen to it. And Danger, of course, is gorgeous blue. And there they are swatched. Okay, the next three is 1987, Zone, and Steady. Really, really pretty colors. 1987 is such a yellow gold. I don't know if it's going to come off on camera as yellow as it really is. Okay, last row is Blackout, Serious, and Punk. And I really like that punk color. It's like a perfect cranberry um, kind of mauve color. There they are swatched. Okay, so overall, I think that there are some really great, easy colors in here. I don't, um, I don't have a lack of inspiration. If you're somebody who likes more color than neutral, obviously you really, really like this palette because it does have more neutral in it, but I just think it's a beautiful palette. So the three that are, are the kind of almost the four that are the chunkiest are just these four right here. They just have a little bit more of a chunkiness of glitter to them, but definitely Pop is that one that has like even bigger chunks of glitter. So typical with even any Urban Decay palette, they have those ones that are always like a little too chunky of glitter. The only one thing that's missing from this palette that is kind of a hit or miss for some people is that usually their palettes come with um, eye brushes. This one does not, but you know, if, and it's kind of the same as all of their other palettes, but I don't really care. I have already primed my eyes with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and I am going to go into Zone, which is the more warmer transition color in this palette. Okay, so we just put that into our transition just to give us a base. There is a lot of powdery kickback from it. Um, I think of these three mattes right here, they feel very, very, very silky. And I think they are just a little bit more finely milled. So definitely just maybe a little lighter hand with those, but definitely beautiful colors. While we're here, I'm just going to take a flat shader part and go into Stark, which is this middle matte, like cream peachy kind of brow bone color and I'm just gonna stick that into the brows and I'll go back later with a highlight but I just wanted to put something on there for right now and I need to cover up some hairs that I have not plucked yet I need to go get my brows done so bad and I just keep putting it off and I really don't know why I'm gonna first go into bath water which is this really pretty like more of a metallic kind of shade than a satin or a sheen. And I'm gonna go in into the first third slash corner of my eye and put it there. Next, I'm gonna go in to Steady, which is just a little bit more peachy toned. And I'm gonna put that on the center of my eyelid. Now I'm going to go into the outer V slash start my crease with Punk, that more like cranberry uh, maroon shade. I know it looks crazy right now, but we'll blend it out. Okay, I'm going to go in and blend that crease a little bit more so we don't look like we got punched in the eye.
And I have not done my concealer or anything yet so that I could clean up just because Urban Decay usually does have some um, fallout with it. So we will clean up the edges of our eyes for sure. Go back into steady and put just a little bit more of that on the center of the eye. Kind of blend it in with that corner color. Just going to take that fluffy blending brush and just blend at the top of the eye and make sure everything looks seamless. Okay, I want to just take a little bit of that blonde color, which is the first one in the palette, and it's just like a very creamy yellow toned um, white, but it just has a very slight little sheen to it. And I'm going to stick that right under the brow bone for a little highlight. A little bit more of blonde and put it on the inner corner. So I think that is good for me today. I don't know. I kind of like just like the smoky, like neutral look a lot lately. I'm not going for anything too, too crazy these days. Um, we're just going to go to the chill up with Queen Mary and hang out. And so I think that's good for now. I'm going to finish the rest of my eyes and I will be right back to show you the finished result and try on one of the lipsticks with you. Okay, so I finished putting on some eyebrows, some mascara, and then I put Danger, the blue, a little bit close right underneath the, um, the lower lash line just to give it like, it has like a little bit of smokiness, but it's kind of nice when you add a pop of color under there. I think it just makes a big difference. So let's go ahead and try some of these lippies on. Um, the one I think I'm going to try, so I don't really want to do red or really purple today. So let's just try Ex-Girlfriend. It's the more, um, the most neutral of the colors. So there's Ex-Girlfriend. And let's see. <laughs> Okay, so just like a nice little pot to swatch. Not sure exactly, you know. Oh, this is kind of sheer. Let's see. This is very like a soft sheer formula. Like, you see it? And yes, my hands are clean. It has a very nice uh, glossy finish to it though. I like that a lot. I might have to pick that one up. So this one is definitely a little bit more sheer. It has just a very little bit of like a pinky purple gold sparkle in it. Um, but definitely just very sheer in color. Looks very pretty. So that is my eye look. My overall thoughts on this palette are, like I said, I would probably get it no matter what just because I'm a giant fan of Gwen Stefani. It was so cool because even in the store, we got this in style magazine where she just happens to be on it for December. So if you haven't picked this up um, and you really like Gwen Stefani and you want to collect something like this, I would pick this up as well. I think this is a really nice palette. I think it has a lot of um, that you could do with it. Definitely a lot of neutrals in it, but I think they all play well together. I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't find any fault in here. I think everything blended out nicely. I don't have anything that like blended away or anything. So I think this is a really great palette. I would suggest picking up. It is $58. So it's just a tidbit more than their other ones. I think the other ones are like 54 maybe, or maybe they're 58 now. Um, but I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's really cute and I think it's a great like collector's item kind of thing too, but I think you're going to get some great eye looks out of it and definitely can get a beautiful smoky eye with this blue, the blackout and some of these grays. So that is what I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. And I will see you all in my next video. Happy Thanksgiving!